This video is going to demonstrate how to use handheld tailpipe analysis or NOx testing in order to diagnose SCR problems completely and quickly. So we've got a 2017 Chevy Duramax it has a P20EE NOx catalyst efficiency below threshold and this is a perfect truck to demo this procedure on. Three quick steps to get started. Connect the tailpipe probe to the tailpipe. Make sure you get it upstream of the diffuser. Run the hose alongside the vehicle. I use painter's tape in order to tape the hose on the vehicle to keep it from flapping around. And pair your scan tool to your gas bench if you want to, uh, or you can certainly use them separately if that's what you want to do. On your scan tool, bring up the following data. So find your inlet NOx sensor in parts per million. Find outlet NOx sensor in parts per million. You might want to bring up your DEF doser while you're at it. And then if you have your uh, gas bench paired to your scan tool, make sure you can see the NOx sensor reading from the tool. Next, you're going to need to test DEF fluid quality. So we got this when we were doing the uh, injector volume test. And uh, this stuff is 32.5%, exactly like it should be. Next, you're going to want to pull that DEF injector out, and you're going to have to do a DEF fluid volume test. Uh, it's called a bunch of different things, depending on which truck you're working on. This one was really crusty. It's kind of surprising for a Duramax. But as you can see, this thing still sprayed nicely. Uh, it also passes the volume test. If everything checks out with my DEF fluid quality and my quantity, and I don't have DEF crystals uh, in my decomp tube or hanging out in the SCR, then I'm gonna move on to my tailpipe analysis. So what I'm looking at is inlet NOx versus outlet NOx, and I've got those in this uh, yellow rectangle here. And you can see that uh, what our NOx reduction is, right? It's about 200 parts per million to around 40 parts per million. And this is not good enough. I need about 90%. Now, the federal spec is only 85. Uh, but uh, for nice round numbers while you're driving, we'll use 90% reduction. So that means if I have 400 parts per million out of the motor, no more than 40 parts per million out the tailpipe. 200 parts per million out of the motor, no more than 20 parts per million out of the tailpipe. And you can see that this engine does not meet that spec. So I don't have good NOx reduction, and this is why I have my P20EE. The PCM sees it. So now to diagnose this, I'm going to add my gas bench numbers that are on the bottom left corner of the screen. What we're trying to accomplish is to verify the outlet NOx sensor reading. So whatever that number on the scan tool shows, we want it to be backed up by the gas bench. And again, we have to do this for two reasons. Number one is know that that NOx sensor is working. Uh, and the other is to make sure that I don't have a crosstalk issue, so that I don't have DEF crystals evaporating out of the exhaust pipe, that my uh, SCR is, uh, is not partially failed and showing a partly high number. And so uh, because of this problem with ammonia crosstalk on the outlet knock sensor, in order to diagnose the system, I need to know what the real outlet number is. So remember, as you're watching these two numbers, the number on the scan tool and the number on the gas bench, the gas bench is going to be about 10 seconds behind. And so notice right now my outlet knocks on the scan tool is 27 parts per million, 25 parts per million. And we're entering this, you know, another period where it's a steady reading. The outlet knocks on the gas bench is showing, you know, 90, now 60, 50, 40. And eventually it's going to dive down to the 25 parts per million range that my other one was at. And now you can see on the outlet knock sensor on the scan tool, uh, I've reached a period where I got some oscillations, right? I lift the throttle back on the throttle, and so it's going to be jumping up and all over the place. And notice now, 10 seconds later, I got the same thing happening on my gas bench. And so really, as long as I can confirm during steady state that my outlet knock sensor is telling the truth, and it is, I can you know back this up with my gas bench, that I can say, look, I have poor reduction on this, and, uh, and it's from a poor SCR. I would originally think it, you know, it was low DEF injection or low DEF fluid quality, just like the PCM says, uh, but it's not the case. I've got good, in def, good DEF injection volume, and my, uh, my 
that fluid quality is good. So as long as the volume and the quality are good, then I have a failed SCR.